What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got a bunch of great information about the iPhone 6S I'd like to share with you guys. So we're getting closer and closer to the launch of this legendary product, and it's less than a month away from being announced. I cannot tell you in words how excited I am. So in this video, I've got the latest collection of all of the news, rumors, and leaks, and information we have about the iPhone 6S, and I'd like to share with you guys in this latest update. Now this information is ranging from a new set of colors, a lot of information about the structural integrity of the iPhone 6s, the power, the release date, and a bunch of little information in between. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now I'm not going to be covering information I already discussed in previous videos. This is solely new information. So there is some new information we've received about colors, not the new rose gold option. That will be a standalone color, which was once offered on the iPhone 5s, a new gold color now will be a rose gold. But there will be new shades of colors for both the gold and space gray that are currently available for the 6. The gold will be more of a yellowish gold and this is mimicking the Apple Watch's new color and the space gray will be very similar to the new darker space gray found in the iPod Touch 6 generation. And this picture courtesy of Detroit Borg or however you say it, he actually compares the three versions of the iPod Touches that did come in those flavors and as you guys can see there's a definite darkness to the new color on the iPod Touch 6 generation and that's going to make its way over to the iPhone 6 generation based on some information an analyst has received. And I think that'd be great. It would be good for Apple to mix things up. And I absolutely miss the darker color ever since the iPhone 5. Apple actually did away with the darker color and they released this space gray, which although is beautiful, it would be nice to see a change. A darker, more yellowish gold color for the iPhone 6S and a darker space gray color as well. Plus a rose gold option would be incredible. So let's hope this rumor is true. So lately some leaked packaging of the final iPhone 6S shell has apparently been making the rounds. And I got to tell you, that is fake. It is is absolutely fake. Every single year we see all kinds of leaks and rumors that prove not to be true, especially from unreliable sources. And I'm going to be talking about a couple in this video, but the first one is exactly this. It's just the clone. It looks exactly like it. First off, the 6S is not going to have the FCC labels. There's some new documentation that FCC allows that you no longer need to put them on the back of your device as long as you have them in the software on the device. Well, that new leaked version in the final packaging is absolutely fake. It looks just like the packaging and just like this device. And especially considering this shade of pink is not going to be the final color on the 6S. Apple's going to modify it a little bit and it's going to be a lot prettier. Trust me on that. This is just to give you guys an idea of what the rose gold will look like, but it is not final, actually far from it. Now, also something that was really funny to me is this geek bench that was making its rounds all around the internet. And this is testament to people wanting to believe what they want to believe. This geek bench is absolutely fake. If we look at the details, of course, it does show steady progression in the power, but but then we look at this and it's triple core and it's on iOS 8.1.2. Why? Why in the world would Apple ever release a 6S with a firmware that was this old? But okay, granted, let's say this Geekbench was way back in the day. It was on March 8th. So that was the appropriate firmware. But the truth about this Geekbench is that someone took an iPad Air 2, modified the identifier values, and hmm, it was on iOS 8.1.2, which was currently jailbreakable, making this entirely possible. So they completely faked it and made an iPad Air 2 seem like it had the score of an iPhone 6s. It is a little convincing, although not so convincing once you get into the details. It's just interesting to me how every single major news source picked up on it and started reporting as news. However, it was completely fake. So just like the leaked casing, there's going to be a bunch of information around right now that's going to be not true. I usually only trust the analysts that have been around for a while and they've been leaking steady information that has proven to be true. This, however, is absolutely false. Now, something I thought that was really interesting, Unbox Therapy posted his bend test where he bent the iPhone and proved that Apple has made considerable adjustments to the strength of the actual casing. It uses the alloy used in the Apple Watch, the aluminium 7000, so it definitely made the device a lot stronger and that combined with a new display that's made by Gorilla Glass but not quite Gorilla Glass 4 will make for the iPhone success being a truly very durable device. I'm really looking forward to testing that myself. Now there's also been some information about the processing power of the actual device itself, so it's likely to be either a triple or quad core. If it were to be a quad core, it's actually going to be 1.7 gigahertz for two of the cores and 1.2 gigahertz for the other two. This is some leaked information by an Apple analyst. Of course, it's not proven to be true, but it would be the first iPhone with a quad core processor and just like cylinder deactivation, two cores for when you need battery life and two more for when you need those intense actions done. And that really does make sense. Now, leaked schematic for the actual logic board proves that this would be an SIP architecture, which allows 
allows for smaller logic boards. It's a more efficient circuit board, but the only problem with them is if one thing goes out, the entire board goes out in some cases. So this new architecture would be the first time it would be ever seen on an iPhone. And I thought that was interesting as well. Now fix who mobile marketing found logs for the iPhone 8, one and 82. These are likely the names of the iPhone 6S Plus and 6S, which iTunes recognizes them by. So I thought that was interesting. They're already being tested and talking about testing them early. iOS 9.1 has been showing up in the logs lately. It's been slowing down for Mac rumors. So iOS 9.1, of course, is on the horizon. Apple's always thinking about the next thing in advance. You know, they don't want to wait until the firmware is out to start thinking about what to add next. They're constantly developing firmwares in the background, just like iOS 8.2, 8.3 and 8.4 being developed while iOS 8.1 hasn't even been released yet. So we should be seeing iOS 9.1 roughly in October. Now, as for release date, many carriers in the UK are already accepting pre-registrations for the pre-order. That's like a pre-order for a pre-order, which I think is really funny. But the actual release date, it's been tipped and tipped again so many times. So we've got a pretty accurate one right now. So September 9th is likely to be the event date. I've heard September 9th and September 11th, but September 9th is more likely to be the one and then September 11th, the pre-orders will begin. So September 18th, we should be seeing this guy in stores and being delivered on September 18th. So that sounds just like last year, actually very similar. September 9th was the date of the event and it worked out great. So guys, that's just about it. That's everything new we've learned about the iPhone 6S. Just wanted to keep you guys updated. This is a very exciting time. I mean, it's always very exciting to see Apple release new hardware, especially when it comes to the iPhone lineup. I'll be covering everything you guys need to know about the device. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a thing or two about the upcoming iPhone 6S. Peace.